Good morning everyone. Welcome to another one of Alan's Angling Adventures. It's Wednesday the 28th of August. Back on the River Ada again today. Uh, and I'm back up Betley Bridge again, on the Betley Bridge stretch, a little way up from where the bridge is itself. On the east side of the bank, where I normally fish now. Uh, but a different swim. This is a swim I haven't, well I have fished it a few sessions, a couple of sessions back, on that very windy session that I had, where I was moving around. And I had a few rud in the corner, but I'm, uh, I like the look of it. And uh, I'll say the last session I had, oh that was brilliant, that was, I was well pleased with that tench I caught. I wonder how we get on today. Now when I first got here this morning, I definitely saw signs of tench or bream feeding out there. Uh, the conditions look very good quietly confident it's gonna be quite hot again I know I've got my hoodie on but um, this will probably come off at some point I would have thought uh, yeah so we're all ready to rock and roll uh, fishing for anything that comes along and uh, as like last time I'm gonna be fishing on the float but this time on the waggler on one rod and on a ground bait feeder on the other one with some corn and just put it out there as a sleeper rod, as I did last time, because it came up trumps. I think it's definitely worth doing that, because, uh, you know, there's no harm in it. If you get one, you get one. If you don't, you don't. So that's what the uh, plan is for today. So on the waggler, so we've got, we got, we got me on the match rod, six pound main line, five pound hook length, and just a normal straight Drennan Peacock waggler there now I've got number I've got a number six shot here and then spaced out down the line I don't think the camera won't, won't pick it up but spaced out down the line I've got number eight shots about every six inches until I come to around uh, 14 inches from the hook length then, then I've got three number eights grouped together then another five, six inches, I've got two, and then one. And then the hook, which is a size 16 barbless Drennan specialist. Uh, the other one is my other Omni, well, this is my Omni feeder rod. Uh, just a ground bait feeder, six pound main line, five pound hook length. There we go. Ground bait feeder in between, in between two gripper stops, five pound hook length, size 14 Drennan Specialist barbless hook there. And let's see how we get on. Now bait, we have got red and white maggots, I've got a tub of worms, dendrobenas, tin of sweet corn which came up trumps last time with that tench, and a tin of hemp. Ground bait, I've got, using up the rest of my Dynamite Big Fish Explosive Caster Feeder Mix with milled casters. That's what I've got today. And I've got that all knocked up down there. I've put out about three balls of ground bait. Well, I've put two balls of ground bait out in one area where I'm going to be using the feeder. And two, two balls of ground bait where I'm going to be using the float. So let's see how we get on. As I say, I have seen fish feeding out there this morning. Time-wise, it's 25 past 10. I had a bit of a late night last night. I went out and watched the Albion play with my grandson against Crawley. That was a good match, actually. Well, I didn't get back to about quarter to 12. And I was up this morning between six and half past. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure how long we're gonna be here for today. Probably gonna be here for quite a while, actually. But we'll see how it goes. So that's the plan anyway, and just see what we can pick up. Right, and I'll show you the swim in a second. Right, this is the swim we've got today. And when I first got here this morning, straight out there, you've got this weed laying on the surface here. And on the corner of this weed, just this side of it, on the corner out there, there was quite a few bubbles, whether they were bream or tench, it was one of the two, definitely feeding. Uh, so I've put I've put a couple of balls of ground bait out there where I'm going to be float fishing and I'm going to stick the feeder over there, somewhere over there. I've fed a couple of balls of ground bait over there. 
So we'll see how we get on. Uh, it's going to say it's going to be quite hot again today, quite warm. Um, Time-wise, it's nearly half ten. So let's let's get cracking. Let's get fishing. We'll get the feeder rod out first. I must admit, I'm quietly confident that we can catch some fish today. I think the conditions look very good. The only drawback is it is, as I say, the heat again. But uh, as I say, as you know from last time, that didn't deter the tench. I certainly, you know, I wasn't expecting to get one, you know, in that, in those conditions really, in that heat, but. So I'll stick a couple of grains of corn on. To begin with. Put a ground bait in the feeder. So I'll have to be a bit careful because if I get anything, it's probably going to go straight into these bushes to my left. But oh, let's see, I'm going to have to be pretty quick, pretty quick reactions if I do get something decent on here. Right, there we go. So a couple of grains of corn on that one. Already I'm getting bites. Look here now. Nothing on there. Pestered too much by a lot of small stuff because I'm going to be fishing on the Wagger in a minute. I say straight away I was getting taps. Right, let's see. Move my rod and keep it along a bit. I ain't got a lot of room here. Right, kick off with a couple of reds on the float. I'm getting bites straight away. First one. What we got? Roach. There we go. So we're off the mark. First cast on the float. Now what I'm going to do? I don't think that I want two grains of corn on this. Yeah, baits come off, so I'm not surprised. So I'm quite confident that we can catch a few today. I'm not a great fan of having to fish in with two rods at the same time. Uh, you can get in a bit of a pickle with it, really. It's all right if you've got plenty of room to do it, but. I'll plumb the depth and fishing just on the bottom. I 
and get an instant bite. Another roach. Well, first fish on the feeder fell hooked. This fella, roach. There we go. Yeah, fell hooked him. Yeah, what I'm hoping on the feeder is that, uh, you know, we might get a bream or a tench again. That's the plan, anyway. That's what I'm hoping. I'm putting a couple of grains of corn on a size 14. The plan was to leave it out there, but I'm getting, you know, bites of, with the uh, smaller fish. Because I didn't really want that on this rod, if I could help it. But, uh, Hopefully, we might get some tench or bream turning up later in the session. Decent start. Slightly bigger one. All rud. Here we are. Right. I so say it's uh, often conditions are very good. The colour of the water looks really good. So I'll just leave that, that other rod out as a sleeper rod. There's a bit of a flow out here. Plenty of bites. Roach and rud on the menu at the moment. A cast out there at the moment. Oh, well it was. <laughs> that little bugger got away. Right. I've also got a few casters mixed in with these maggots as well, which I might turn to. Let's try a white maggot. Let's try a white and a red. mixture of roach and rud at the moment. Yes. Swinging them over at the moment. If I need the, if I think I need the landing net, I'll use it. But. Go. Well, so I've probably had a fisher cast at the moment. How long this is going to last for, though, I don't know, because as you know, 
Oh, that one's got another one got away. There's two that's got away now. I'll tell you what, let's try grain of corn on the slope. Yeah, it's a nice swim, this. But, yeah, I'd love to get another town. I mean, this stretch here at Betley is fishing well for tench at the moment. There's been a few tench coming out on this stretch over the last few weeks. Well, plenty of small roach and rudd out there at the moment. So that tent shot I had on the last one really took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting it, but great feeling to catch that, you know. And as I say, a few have been coming. There's a bite there on the feeder. That's the thing, when you've got two rods going and you're getting quite a few bites, your concentration has to go up a level. Well, I'm getting so many of these, I, I, I'm having to keep switching the camera on, switching it off. <laughs> there we go. You're getting the, the gist of it anyway, what, what's happening. Plenty of roach and rudd on the maggots. Pleasant, pleasant conditions to fish in now. Well, it's one after the other at the moment. Of course, no problems with the tide today. Should be fishing it going down for most of the session. The way that float dived away, I thought it was something really good, for, you know, quite big, but it wasn't. There you go. I say they're really having it. The bites are, you know, quite ferocious at times. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased that this set, you know, this particular part of the river is fishing well for tench. And bream as well, I think. really is a fish you cast ever since I started this morning 
a mixture of roach and rudd. No real size at the moment, but uh, most enjoyable. Blimey. There must be tons of these out there today, tell ya. I'm not surprised in these conditions. And so I've caught the tide perfectly today. Yeah, so I think I will have I will have just one carp session and it will be the next one. And I think it will be up here. And I'm thinking of having it in the swim where I had that tench and those bream from. Because I, I know this carp there. Well, there's carp all on this stretch. Not loads, obviously, but I know they do get you. So, uh, so I think we'll have one more session up here at Betley on the next one. And then after that, we'll... Oh, Christ. We'll... Uh, we'll go somewhere different on the river. the moment they're really having it here this morning as we know they switch off all of a sudden don't they If this was a match, you know. So I just wonder how many I can catch here today. The signs yeah, mate. Are... Hello mate, alright? Yeah, not too bad. Any luck? Well, a load of roach and rudd at the moment. You know, about that size. Alright. But a bite. Fish are cast, mate, eh? Waggler fishing. Yeah, well, I've got a waggler here. And I've got a ground bait feeder in that corner with some corn on it. You ever caught a carp from it? I haven't, mate. But I was just thinking... On the next session, I'm going to be carp fishing and I'm going to have a go up here because I know they're up here. Yeah, no, I've said uh, about two months ago I was on my bike and you know the bridge at the very top? Yeah. Just one single about, not massive, but a six pound carp just on, right on the top. Really? Yeah. To the uh, drainage pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go up here for carp on the next one. I know there's quite a few tench coming out up here. I had one of four pound ten last time. Tench? Yeah. Some nice tents that are coming out on this stretch. I have one just down from here uh, a couple of weeks ago, £4.10 on sweet corn on the right. feeder. I just stuck the feeder rod out there as a sleeper rod, you know, I just left it yeah. and I was float fishing and the, the bloody rod started going. I wondered what it was and it was a tench, lovely fish. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you got tent, you got some nice tench, bream, and carp all on this stretch. Yeah. No barbel though, is there? No barbel, no barbel mate, no, no. Yeah. I was gonna say, because then this river would literally have everything. Yeah, I know, it's a shame, isn't it? I mean, there are chub as well. Yeah, no, some big chub in here. Yeah, in yeah. So. Yeah. Are you filming a YouTube? Yes. So am I. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, if you want to, Alan's Angling Adventures. Uh, I always I mean, put them on, Alan's Angling Adventures. Alan, Alan. Alan's Angling Adventures. I'm fishing with Faisal, so um, right, okay. I'm just fishing with myself, but yeah, no, okay, that's cool. How yeah. many subs have you got? Hey? How many subscribers do you have? Oh, I've got just over 300, about 300 and, no, I've got about 340. That's not which, bad. Which, I mean, it's not bad. I know a lot of anglers, they've got in the thousands, but yeah. I'm very happy with that, you know. How long have you been doing it then? Uh, about four or five years. Oh, wow. Yeah, on, on the, yeah. I hadn't been river fishing up until about five years ago. I was always on still waters. Yeah. You know, but as you see, I cycle up here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So and uh, yeah, it's brilliant, mate. You don't get bothered by anyone. It's it's peaceful. Yeah, no, it is. And you've got, blimey, some bubbles down there. Yeah, no, a bunch of fish have jumped up. Cool. 
Yeah. yeah. Or something, there, mate, isn't it? That's interesting. Someone else who puts their videos on YouTube. I think he's uh, he's after pike and perch, and he's just gone up a bit further. Meanwhile here, we're still catching roach and rudd virtually every cast, more or less. All about the same size at the moment. As soon as the float hits the water, there we are. Nothing big if it's. This is the problem I've got at the moment. It's not a problem, but I don't really want to be while I speak my float's going on the on the other rod. Absolutely full of roach and rud in here today. I'll have to come up with something. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick a pellet on the feeder rod and see if that makes any difference. Uh, I've got a couple of different sizes. And on the float rod, I'm just going to bulk shot further down and get it down quicker because they're just taking it as soon as it, you know, on the drop, they're taking it as soon as it hits the water, which is great, you know, catching fish. But if I could just pick up a few bigger ones, that would be great. You know, there's more chance of doing that, I think, if I can get it down quicker. So we'll do that. Well, a change of species, little dace. Still catching, and still getting virtually a fish of cast out there. So I've got a pellet now on the feeder rod. Put another shot on and bolt it a bit get it down quicker but I'm still getting the same fish still the same it's great fun though it really is Young lad who's fishing up the top, well, it's two of them actually. So they've got their own YouTube channel and they cycle like I do up the river. So that's three of us now <laughs> that I know of that do that, that cycle up here. See, the thing is, when you, when you cycle up on this river, you can get the places on this river that is more it's awkward by car. You know. This is great fun, this is today. Really enjoying this. Another rod. Tell you what, let's try a worm on the float.
see if we get one with that. Yeah, they they had a couple of perch up that far end. I've got a piece of corn on the float. I'm getting some bites on it, uh, and there's also bubbles all around my float as well, which look like either bream or tench bubbles. I've got the float shotted down further and every now and again it just slowly goes under very slowly then bobs up again certainly a different bite to the uh, ones I've been getting on the maggots I'm eating something here. This is on the float on corn. I think it might. It's a nice fish, whatever it is. Ah! Oh, ah, oh, bugger. I think it was a bream flip here now. Oh, would you believe it? Would you believe it? Oh, Jesus, I'm gutted. I saw it, it was a bream. That was on corn. I thought I was getting some different types of bites out there on the corn. They weren't, the, you know, the, the snatchy bites that you get with the roach and the small roach and rud. Oh, I, that was my own fault. I didn't play that well. I did not play that well. I totally got what I deserved there. I didn't play that well. Bloody hell, Alan. Oh well, we go again. I clearly saw it. It was a bream. I would have said probably about three, three or four pounds. Okay. And if it's a bream, there is a chance could get another, op another opportunity. I told you earlier I was getting some bubbles around my float and that's probably what they were. I didn't play that well. I really didn't. It was making off towards the reed on my right hand side. In one thing it's good that you, you know there's some bream out there, but I shouldn't have lost it. I didn't play it well. Totally my own fault I lost that. A few more grains of corn out there. That might be the way to go. Corn on the float. It's had the drag so it couldn't take any line, and I think it just wanted to run a little bit. I needed to play it a bit differently to the way I did. that is it shows they're there it shows they're there you now for all the small roach and mud I've been catching on maggots 
the bigger fish are, are down there. You just got to find a way of getting them. And I'm getting bites on the on the sweet corn, on the float. And they're different types of bites completely. Well, I'm in on the corn again, but it's not a bream this time. Oh, it's a, it's a nice rub. It's the best rub so far. No monster, but... There we go. Ah, right, so, sweet corn on the float. It's starting to pick up some bigger fish. Oh, that's not a bad rub. Not a bad rub at all. Nice one actually, and keep still mate. There we go. So the situation is we've just lost a bream of around three to four pound. I just picked up a nice rud. And we're getting bites on sweet corn on the float. Right, okay, that's the way to go then. At the moment anyway. Shouldn't have swung that over, but I got it anyway. On the feeder, on corn, we are. It's not bad. Great stuff. Right. turn out to be a bad session you know it's just I'm just gutted I lost that bream earlier I can't stop thinking about it there's things if that had been you know somewhere like Passage Ponds or somewhere on a still water day ticket fishery I wouldn't have been so bothered about it but because it's here on the river I don't like losing fish like that nearly half 12 now. I think this is going to be quite a long session. I think I'm going to stay here throughout the afternoon. Might even stay here into early evening. That's another rud on sweet corn. Definitely bigger. There we are. So some some bigger fish now coming in on sweet corn. Right. This feels a bit better. Oh, it's a lovely rud. It's a lovely rud. It's a nice one as well. Oh. Yes, oh what a cracking fish this is. Oh, this is a cracking fish. This partly makes up for the bream I lost. This really is. One of the, this is probably the best. Oh, look at that, it's a rud. Beautiful fish. Look at this. Look at that, look, what a cracking rud on sweet corn. I'm getting some bites down there which look much different to the bites I was getting earlier on, on maggots. Oh, it's a cracking fish. Beautiful rud. Great stuff. Look at that, look. Oh, I'm well pleased with that, really am. I don't catch many of these this size in the river. Right, oh, this is good stuff. This is, I'm really enjoying this. Oh, what a plonk! Yep, sweet corn is the way to go. Now, I'll just show you now the area where I'm getting the bigger fish from 
on sweet corn it's just down here just down here so you've got that layer of weed on the surface it's just this side of the weed I've had definitely had so I lost that bream earlier I'm definitely getting breamy tenchy type bite type bites on the float on the on the sweet corn I'm now picking up these bigger rud so long may it continue I was only thinking the other day you know when I caught that tench I thought wouldn't it be great if I could catch some roach or rud of a pound or more because I'm convinced they're in here well I know they are you know because other anglers have told me that they've, they've caught them but uh, of course they don't turn up that often but that was the cracking mud possibly the best rud I've caught on the river I'm doing the trip today. I'm not using maggots at the moment. And it's nearly 10 to 1 now. And what's been a good session, apart from the... Oh my God. There's some bubbles out there. Oh, oh. And they look very tension. Let's see if I can get it out there. Where those bubbles are. Oh, there's some fish out there today, I tell you. They were definitely tench bubbles or, or green bubbles. They're there again. God. Right, I'm going to put it out there and just get it. Yeah, I'm not joking, I can feel the tension in the air. Yeah, yeah I know that they're there. I've lost one. I mean, that could go at any time, that feeder was out the blue, you know, but... They're changing over to the corn and changing my float rig over, making a few minor adjustments, putting an extra shot on, getting it down quicker as, you know, is working now and also of course changing the bait from maggots to sweet corn and being a bit more patient as well with the bites because you're not getting bites as soon as you put it out there as I speak there's one there So that would have, if I got that bream, that would have been the first time I've caught a bream on the river, on the waggler. I haven't caught one on the waggler. I've always been on the feeder. Well, since that rub, nothing else to report yet. That was about 15 minutes ago. But my God, there's some fish feeding out there. Definitely a load of bubbles all around my float. A summary of the session at the moment a mixture of roach and rud one not cracking rud it really was and I lost a bream of around three pound I would say it was three to four pound looking at it I clearly saw it under the surface and it was a bream choked about losing that there you go no monster but it's the first fish for a while it's a rud Mr Rudd not a bad one Be 
go. The rud. Definitely the bigger fish coming on sweet corn. No doubt about that. That's why I've discarded with the maggots. I'm not using the maggots at the moment. <coughs> so I'm not getting so many bites and not catching half so many fish. But uh, certainly, you know, fish are definitely bigger. Right. It's uh, 25 to 2 now. I think I'm going to stop and have some dinner. put a size 14 hook on on the float now instead of the 16 give it a few more minutes and we'll have a bite to eat it's so good out there it really is plenty of bites I feel I probably should have caught more than what I have done. I mean, as I say, I could continue catching loads of those little roach and rud on maggots today, but because I know there's bigger fish out there, and there are, there we go. I want to concentrate on these if I can. If I can just pick one, you know, one bream up or something, that'd be great. And I was really pleased with that rud I caught. Well, I'm definitely going to stop for dinner now, and I'll keep saying it, but I am. Uh, summary of the session, uh, quite a few roach and rud, one nice rud in particular, very nice rud, and lost a nice bream. Well, I've had plenty of decent bites out there, um, hopefully, I'm hoping this afternoon I can pick up a bream or, or something. Anyway, bit of dinner now, and I'll see you, hang on, I've got a bite there, <laughs> I tell you, you can't leave this alone. Yeah, I'm going to stop for a bit of dinner and I'll get back to you for the afternoon session. Well, we're in here. I don't know what it is. It's on the feeder. It feels half decent as well. Oh, bloody, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That's the second one I've lost now. The hook's pulled out. Oh my god. I was just having my dinner. I just went up to the back there to pour some, pour myself a cup of tea out, and the old rod was going. I ain't having much luck today, am I? That's two I've lost now. Oh well. We soldier on. Well, this has been unbelievable, you know. Two fish I've lost now, two decent fish I've lost now. That felt, definitely felt breamy, tenchy. It was. You get sessions like this, I tell you, it's, I don't know what it is, but when I'm playing them today, I, I, I just, I think it's totally my fault, I really do. I really think it's down to me. Well, I've lost these two. Oh, I should have had two today. That was definitely a bream or a tench. On the feeder. It's sod's law in it. Every time you sit down and have your dinner, something happens. It's happened to me lots of times, that. There's a tap on there now, I don't know what that is. We're into the afternoon session now, it's nearly five past two, I'm not float fishing yet. I'm just going to drink my cup of tea, and then we'll get back out on the float again. I'm just going to keep trying to get one of these, because I've had chances today it's 
like a striker in football, missing a, you know, a hat full of chances, opportunities to score, and just hasn't taken one of them. I mean, I'm pleased with that rod I caught, definitely. I'm glad I caught that. That was a lovely fish. But I should have had a bream and at least another bream or a tench to go with it on top of the smaller roach and rub that I've caught. Yeah, the hook pulled out. I suppose that can happen. You know, it can happen, you know, to anyone really, but to have lost two. I mean, I could accept losing one, maybe, but losing two. Yeah, all on sweet corn. So we'll have this cup of tea and uh, I just want to make a few adjustments to my float set up again with the shots. There we go, there's a bite on there again. Not sure what it is. Lurched forward. Definitely something there, definitely something there. Oh, that's a decent bite. I'll put it out there again. There's definitely some tension bream out there. Come on, Alan, just get one of them. I'll be happy to get one of them. I really will. Double corn. That was a nice bite, that. Maybe I should have left it. Right, we're in again. This is on the feeder rod. Oh, it's a nice fish. It's a bream. So am I going to get it this time or not? A lovely bream as well. Yes, 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 at last, at last. These are what I've been losing today. I finally got one. Oh, it's a cracking bream as well. Oh, flipping brilliant. Yes, patience, that's what it is. Perseverance again pays off. I just don't think I've been fishing that good today and you know sometimes it can happen but you know I've, so I've lost two fish and I'm really annoyed about the way that I've lost them but I've got one now so that's brilliant right let's get sorted out let's get her out and then I'll show her to you well a bream of three pound on the dot and this one's got plenty of marks on it something's really been having a go at this one look there we go so a bream of three as I say, I've lost one earlier, and the other one, well, it could have been a bream, it could have been a tench. But uh, that's great, anyway. So we're in amongst the bream and tench on this stretch, I must admit. Blimey, this is a good good uh, part of the season for me at the moment. Good start. Long may it continue. So a bream of three pound. Let's see if we can get another one. Well, I'm enjoying this session, I must admit. Certainly is sweet corn doing the trick today. As we continue with the two rod attack, the feeder and the waggler. Oh, 
Oh. oh, what's this? Oh, I snagged it and it snagged me up, whatever it was. Baits off as well, flipping hell. I'll tell you, it's, it's just tench and bream all over that far side today. Well, at least bream anyway. Certainly plenty of fish over there. And they've been over there for most of the session. Yeah, bang one half two. Still got plenty of time. Plenty of time. So a mixture of roach and rud. A nice rud. This is no size, but it's a fish. Do I dare swing it over? Go on, chance it, chance it. Right. Yeah, a mixture of roach and rud, definitely bigger fish. All bigger fish on the uh, on sweet corn. Getting that sh the uh, bait down quicker as well. The way I've got it set up with the shots. and a nice three pound bream on the feeder and of course those two that I lost what a brilliant, you know, really brilliant stretch of river this is you know this is why I've been coming back here, you know, because you know if you're catching fish on a certain stretch, why go somewhere else, you know, what's the you know, so I definitely will have a carp session. The next one will be a carp session, and it'll be up here. I was going to say, in the swim that I fished last time, where I had that tench. I'm not sure yet. I've just had to change my camera over. I don't know what this is. I think it's a, oh, it's a rud. Nothing of any size. Is it a rud? Oh, it's a roach. It's a roach. Not a bad one. There we go. Yeah, guys, it's turned into a really good session today. Really pleased with it. Oh, it's a nice roach. It's another nice roach. There we go, another nice a nice roach. That's on the feeder, on sweet corn again. I'm really enjoying this session, I tell you. It really is good. Right, let's carry on. Well, I'm in again, on the feeder. I think it's a bream. It is a bream. Oh, it's a nice one as well. What a lump! What a lump! Second bream of the session. Blimey, O'Reilly! Oh, this is blimey! Oh, God, this is brilliant. This is the old sweet corn's really working the day. This is the, probably the best session I've had on the river. Well, by a mile on sweet corn. I've never done brilliantly on it on the river in the past, but today, oh, this is brilliant. Right, of course, this is a lump. This is this is bigger than the three pound one I had. Right, let's get her sorted out, and then I'll show her to you. Well, second bream of the session. This goes just under four. It's a lively fella. Keeps wanting to get away. I don't blame it. I'll get it back in a second. Yeah, second bream of the session. Oh, I'm well pleased with this. Brilliant stuff today. So it's two bream now, one of three, and one of, I think this was about 3.15, just a shade under four, just a shade under. Oh, brilliant. I'm really enjoying this today, really am. There we go, look. 
Whew, what a slab. It's on the feed that it's doing it. Right, let's get her back. Let's get her back. Oh, she's coming up for quarter past three now. And what's turning out to be a very good session. Regardless of the couple I lost this morning. Been a good season for me on the river so far. Blimey. Especially for Breen. It's nice when you know you've got your set up right, your rigs right. I say there's definitely a shoulder bream that have been out here now for several hours, I'd say. All all out in this all out there. I'm not putting the bream in the keep net, they're going straight back. The only fish I've got in the keep net are the, are the roach and the rud. I'm going to have to go somewhere to try and catch, catch one over five pound, which is my best now. But uh, we know they're in here, we know that, we know there's... Oh, Christ, that was a nice bite. That was a nice bite on the float. a bite on this one now. Is it on there? Yes, don't. Yes, no, it's nice. nothing big. Nothing big. Let's sort myself out of my mm, landing net. I've got them the wrong side of me. I think it's just a small rud or roach. It's a rud. been really good. It's a nice one. They've all been nice on the corn. Virtually every one has been nice. There we go. Another nice rud. Great stuff. Non-stop action today. It's up past three now, and I ain't going home yet. I tell you, no way. So the next one, definitely going to be a carp session. River carp session. Up here, but I'm not too sure what swim yet. caught the four now. I must admit, I'll be perfectly honest, I'm starting to wilt. I'm getting very tired. I've really enjoyed this, you know, I don't want to go yet. It's amazing, they've been out there from the word go when I first got here this morning, when I was setting up, I told you didn't I, that there was bubbles out there, fish feeding, and they've been there on and off throughout the whole session. It's almost like they've been swimming backwards and forwards. There must be a shoal of them out there. This is like the first session that I had of the season, wasn't it? When I had those two bream back down further, when I caught two and lost two. And it's been exactly the same today, caught two and lost two. 
Well, it's five to four now. We're going to give it till we're going to give it till five o'clock. I think. Gone a little bit quiet for the first time in the session today. It's gone a bit quiet. It's getting the odd bite on the float, but uh, nothing like it was. So where are we? Uh, yeah, 1st of September is Sunday, isn't it? Uh, I won't be able to get out next week because uh, I'm going away for a few days. But um, it will be a carp session next. Uh, the only thing is the Downs link is closed uh, in September, I believe, for a few weeks. From, just from the railway in, from the old railway in, uh, up to Beckley Bridge. So if I want to fish up here, I'm probably going to have to, apart, I think it's open on a weekend. I think the weekend is all right. So if I'm going to, if I want to fish up here, it's going to have to be on a Sunday, I think. Well, it's definitely a, it's definitely a carp session. Be the one and only one of this season for me. Yes, yeah, so I've had, what have I had? I've had so far this season, I've had four bream. Four bream, blimey. That's not bad on the river, you know. Three, just under four, four pound ten and five. That bite? Maybe I should have left it. The old bubbles are back out there again. I tell you, if they're back and I start getting bream bites again, there's no way I'm going home yet. No way. Get home tonight and have a nice hot bath and a shave. As I got home late last night. Oh god, no. I got home late last night watching at the Elbe. Yes. It's only small. The first fish for quite a while. Roach. As I say, I got home. <coughs> I got home about quarter to twelve last night, and I knew I had to get up the next morning early, or relatively early, you know, to go fishing. There we go. Nice roach. So one, the next session, the next session will be up here for carp. Then after that, um, I'll be fishing. I'll give it a rest up here. Because I've been, you know, I've been fishing up here a fair bit this season. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm catching fish up here, nice fish. But I do want to try somewhere else as well. So. I don't know what this is. Took off. I'm not sure. I think it might be an, it's another bream. It's another bream. If I can get this, it'll be bream number three. It's 
a nice one as well. I tell you, they do fight more than they do on still waters. I've got a, I've got a, oh brilliant stuff, oh the third bream of the session and what a cracker it is, Christ, oh, 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 oh. oh what a session this has turned out to be, three bream, oh it's another, another big lump, another big lump, all right, proper bream these are, oh. I thought I saw him feeding again out there. There we go, mate. Right, let's got the hook out. Let's see what we got. Oh, blimey, O'Reilly. <laughs> look at this, look. What a lump. Look at that. Right, it's the third bream of the session. All three have come on the feeder on sweet corn. God, I'm going to weigh it again because I'm not sure what it goes. I would imagine about four, but we'll see. It's quite heavy, quite chunky. Brilliant stuff. Well, I just weighed this one, and this one goes four pound two ounces. Look at that. Look, what a lump. Brilliant stuff. Oh, I can't believe this. Three bream today. Could have been more. Should have been more. But uh, I mustn't get greedy. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, I really are taking this corn today. Right, let's get her back. So a bream of four pound, two ounces. That's the biggest one so far. I think what I'll do, I'll give it till five and then I'll pack the float rod up and start packing a few bits and pieces up. But I'll leave the feeder rod out there. Get a canoeist come through or a couple of canoes come through. It's probably disturbed the swim a bit, I would have thought. I've packed my float rod away now. I just got the feeder rod out there. It's uh, coming up to nearly five past five. So I'll probably give it another half an hour, actually. Yeah, really nice swim this, as I say. I've only fished it for a little while. Last uh, On that session where it was really windy, I came here to try and get out the wind, and I had, I had a few rud from right in that corner, because that was where it was sheltered, over there. Christ almighty, something over there, you can just see the ripples coming, I'd have the cameras picking it up, right in underneath that hanging, overhanging tree, it is big, whatever it is in there, cool. it sounded very, very much like a cup, very much like a cup, oh blimey, it did make a big a splash. Yeah, it's right, right in, in there, you can imagine, can't you? You can just imagine there being, I mean, there's several of these overhanging uh, bushes on this stretch of river. Every so often there's one, there's another one further, a bit further up. There's another one to my left. And they're dotted about all the way up, up this stretch. And there's no doubt about it, I'll put money on it, that there's big carp or chub in amongst that. 
I shall certainly be having a go for carp on this stretch next time on the next session. I'm not still not sure where though, whether to give it a go here or maybe the session, the, the uh, swim where I caught that tench from. I'm not sure, we'll see. And that'll be in a couple of weeks' time. I think what I'm going to do here now, it's uh, virtually quarter past one. I'm going to have one more chuck. One more chuck, and I think that will be my lot. I'm happy with what I've caught today, more than happy. Yeah, more than happy. So I've packed a few things up, packed me float rod up and it's a really lovely part of the day now that cloud covers come over, a bit of variable cloud. It's not hot anymore, it's perfect, it's just right. I say you've got it all on this stretch of river. It's all up here. Carp, tench, bream. Roach, rud, perch. Right, it's ten to six now. <coughs> it seems to have gone a bit quiet. It has gone quiet. Uh, so I think uh, I'm going to pack up. As I say, I've got my float rod packed away. I just got to pack my feeder rod up. So I think what I'm going to do is reel that in pack it up, pack it away, and we'll have another look at that uh, beautiful rud that I caught this morning. It's worth looking at again. Yeah, we'll do that, and then I'll uh, summarise the session. So I'll see you in a minute. Well, it's bang on six o'clock now. More or less packed up, just got a few more bits to, to do. Thought we'd just take one more look at this beautiful rud before I actually go. Really pleased with that. What I really want to do now though is catch some of a pound or more. Uh, I don't know how big this is, but uh, it's, it's a nice fish. Really is, a lovely rud. Uh, well pleased with that. So let's just, just summarise the session quickly. Um, yeah, three bream, lost two, or well, definitely lost one, and the other one was either a bream or a tench. Uh, quite a few roach and rud, and one dace. Uh, so I'm well pleased with that today. Uh, all the bream coming on the feeder. One that I lost on the float, which was a shame, but uh, and I did actually see it. As I say, it was about three pound. It looked about three, between three and four. But uh, as I speak now, I'm looking down there and there's more feeding going on. More bubbles. They're back again, but I've got to pack up. I've been fishing here <laughs> since half past ten today. So um, I'm knackered now. So uh, yeah, a very good session. Very much enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. And I'll be back out again, uh, not next week, because I'm away for a few days, but the week after, and it'll be a carp session on the river. Definitely a carp session on the river, probably on this stretch somewhere. Not sure what swim to fish yet. We'll have a look when we get up here. But uh, yeah, so that's on the next session, a river carp session next time. Right, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed fishing up here again today. Having some good sessions this season on the river. Very good sessions. I'm well pleased with the way it's going. Uh, thank you very much for subscribing to my fishing channel and pressing the like button. Much appreciated. And I'll see you again. Enjoy your own angling. Definitely do that definitely enjoy your own angling and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now.